When you think of Britain, what comes to your mind? Crumpets, footy, fish and chips, the BBC, quaint English villages, Big Ben, and of course, tea. But what is the most quintessential British thing of them all? Yes, it's the mighty and much loved Ring Road. We've got them everywhere. Glasgow, Coventry, Birmingham, Sheffield, Norwich, Leeds, and of course, good old London. In fact, London has the most famous, the most perfectly balanced <coughs> ring road of them all, the M25. People love this ring road so much, they dedicate hours, nay, sometimes days of their lives just driving around it to enjoy the views and close contact with all the other M25 loving motorists. So what does all this have to do with our much loved British city skyline build, Blighty on the Wall? Well, as suggested by many dozens of you, we need a ring road to encircle our city and give the tea-loving population a much-needed local attraction to spend their Friday evenings and Saturday afternoons driving on for hour after hour after hour after hour. So let's carefully consider the most British of British cities blighty on the world and find out which lovely citizens will be donating their home and land to enable us to construct our own British ring road. So here we are in the heart of Blighty on the Wold and we are going to build a humongous ring road around everything to really help with the future growth of our our city we can put in inverted commas 61,000 people so you know it's getting bigger it's getting bigger but to really help access to various parts of the city and to yeah aid with future growth so if we just sort of zoom out like this we can get a a good view of what's going on let's have a look at our traffic mode so lots of red areas but that just generally means that the place is busy not necessarily absolutely filled with traffic but over here in this quadrant there's always a lot of traffic with our main bus terminal and that sort of thing going up there and if we look at our highways the way that they come into the area it runs straight the way through blighty on the world and this one runs straight the way through as well and there's no way to sort of go around at the outside which is what a ring road would do for us now in the previous episode we started constructing this road along here and there was a couple of comments oh jumpy game as we zoom in for the first time there was a couple of comments about turning this into the start of a ring road which i thought was a fantastic idea so if we follow this road along here it connects up with the highway coming through here which is great we've got a slight adjustment we're going to make on that intersection there comes along the back of these houses and over here we'd need to make a slight adjustment but then it attaches over to the highway coming through here so ultimately anybody that just wants to come through or have access to this this side of the city over here would not have to go through the center and come through there and it may even be that we remove this highway going through here at some point once we have the ring road and see how it goes so maybe we'll have a look at that uh, what i would like to do is change this road here so a ring road it can be a multi-lane road it can be extra motorways that go around the outside you can have an outer and an inner ring road but i think we're going to go for the sort of non-highway but almost highway style road let's turn off uh, this one here and just go for user made assets and i'm thinking of an even wider road along here and we've got this one here the 60 mile an hour speed uk six lane road yeah that looks more like a ring road it's got the marking of the parking down the side though mm. aha this one's much better here we go uk six lane road it's got a 50 mile an hour speed limit and it's got no parking we can certainly increase the speed on that so what i'm going to do is i'm going to upgrade uh, all of this road around here and then we're going to make a couple of changes and it's also probably going to mean that as we're trying to keep it as a ring road that we're going to have some sort of bypass over the top of here i know a lot of you said park low in here would be good yeah, yeah that's fine um, but I was quite happy with the design I, I came up with, uh, with one little change, as we mentioned, which we'll get to in a moment. Now, with a ring road, you can have... I'm not doing this as a bridge, am I? No. You can have multiple connections, but you want your connections that come off it to be few and far between. So having long stretches like this 
um, is a good way to do it. We'll leave that as a bridge for now. This section down here is where we're going to make the change. Whoa, we'll jump again. So we don't want this to come right through here into the residential area. We want to leave this road as it is. So what we're going to do, we're going to pause the game. We're actually going to take this bit out. And then we're going to take this road here. And I want that to come through here somehow so let's just see what we can do oh and just as we're about to do that we've got an auto save sip of tea oh yes just what i need and also don't forget to check out bifferplaysmerch.com for your auto save sip of tea merchandise There we go, uninterrupted movement all the way, almost all the way through here. And then these two roads can just sort of connect back up here again. Let's grab that one a bit. Let's meet. There we go. So that one can just come straight down into there. Um, and this one here, I think we're going to remove that one now. So now, just to try and keep this road moving swiftly, we could put some sort of junction in here, but what we do have is an asymmetric seven-lane road. So we're going to grab that, and we can upgrade these here and have a totally dedicated turning lane, which is fantastic. So if we grab this, so we get our three lanes that go straight on, one of our roads that comes straight off, and then the guy who just wants to do whatever he likes <laughs> driving through there. Thank you very much. We'll up that to 20, and then we're definitely going to do give way on here. Um, yeah, we could add some sort of junction, but for now, I think that will be okay. And as we move along here, we could do a similar thing at any other junctions that we come across as well. So these junctions here start to get a little bit closer. So the ring road is maybe losing its purpose of speed and everything through here. I am wondering whether to disconnect some of this and change the road layout. So this road comes up here, can easily cut through there. That is a nice large road, isn't it? So I think we're going to disconnect this one over here. And we'll just use the move it mod to get that as close as we can. And then we can use this over here to get rid of that weird little bit in the middle. Excellent. And then this also is a connection for our school. But what I'm going to do is connect it over here instead of down there. Right, now we're coming up to this junction that we made. And there was a great comment about a last little change that we can make on here. And that was from Astro Nash. Hey, Biffer, if you convert the road that goes into the non-roundabout junction into a two-way road where it meets the collector, you can have it split off into a loop to get that missing movement. So, yeah, that's a good idea. I mean, we sort of had the missing movement. So, it's basically from coming here to go down that way. So, we're going to split this into a two-lane version of that road. Uh, two way i should say not too lame there we go excellent that's all lined up nicely let's just make sure they know exactly what they're supposed to be doing we're going to grab those and say hugo there very good we need to do the same over here so they carry on that is not right there we go excellent that'll work nicely and then when we come down here maybe we'll just widen this to give them some extra options so some sort of asymmetric road would be good there yeah, three and a two. That's about as close as we're going to get. We'll give them dedicated lanes everywhere. There we go. Excellent. I'm now thinking some time traffic lights on here would be a good call just to keep the movement. So that's the only traffic lights we've got on the whole of this ring road. So you can see I'm putting little reminders in here and here. <laughs> um, yeah, so we may do a little bypass road that comes up and over the top. We'll see how that goes. But that's a pretty big junction coming into another little area over here so we'll, we'll see what happens with that and do you know what now i'm looking at this i'm thinking i could do this over here remove this roundabout and this road and it would work a lot better so i think i'm gonna do that instead oh and by the way thank you for telling me about the mirror function which i had completely missed um actually i'm gonna just delete all of that first there we go so i'm gonna select i'm gonna select all of this and do a complete mirror of the whole thing and i sort of missed how it works i don't i've used it before i don't know but anyway mirror objects and then click on the center where you want it to mirror and look at that a complete mirror of what we've got over there and then you just need to connect up the nodes and then <laughs> I'm wondering whether I could use, let's have a quick go, see if I can union some nodes here. Um, so we've got this one here, union node. 
Is that union node? Using the right one. So I want a union that with that. Yep, there we go. Oh, that worked. And then we can line it up again. Excellent. Nice. Nice. Look at that. And then I've just got to flatten it out. So we're going to use this tool here. We're going to flatten that out to down there. Excellent. And then we'll flatten this out to down here. Excellent. And then we'll flatten that out to down there. Excellent. And then we'll flatten this out to down there. Excellent. And then we'll... Six and a half hours later. Right, there we go. Oh, man. Isn't that so much better than what we had before? What do you think? I think that's good. Anyway, yes. Yeah, so our ring road continues. So now we're coming out into the open wide world and deciding what we're going to do with our ring road over here. So we've got our highway. Um, let's just take a look at our terrain coming through here and yeah now this is where it gets a little bit difficult because it's not just a hill it's just like a massive hill yeah so we could go in here and have a tunnel that comes right out the other side we could continue it round here but at the moment i mean i don't see myself building right on the edge here so i'm thinking some way through the tunnel and then having a junction in this area here where's the shortest part of the tunnel that's here so if we grab this road There we go. Then we get through the tunnel like that. And then what we can do is just connect uh, those two up like so. And we can use connect at line mode or range at line mode from here to here. There we go. Much more sweepifying. We can remove the trees on the road. Excellent. So that's a nice connection through there. We can do a little bit of work on that road. Nice connection through there. So now we come to this spot over here. Yes, what sort of junction do we want on here? And again, we want this to continue on through because we're then going to work our way over to here somewhere as well. Right, I've got this little compact interchange. Uh, let's just find a flat piece of land to plot that on and have a look. Thank you, farmer, for lending me your field. Um, and what does that look like? Which way are the roads going? Let's just click on here. There we go. So that's going up there. So cars are coming off there. They're coming off here. So there doesn't look like there's people getting in each other's way, which is good. And if you're coming from all directions, you want to check this thing works. You can go that way, you can go that way. And then if you want to come off and go the other way, you come through there and go that way. We can do some lame mathematics and things there. But I think that is going to work absolutely splendiferously. So we've now got to make that fit into here. And to be honest, it's not far off. If it went sort of something like that, we could swing these roads out no problem at all. And also these roads need to be converted um to our british highway roads as well these are the standard ones that come with the game so i'm going to remove all of these and get this as close as we can to here there we go i, th <laughs> I think that will be perfectly okay all right we're just going to use the move it mod we're going to get rid of all the trees in this area because they're all getting changed to british trees anyway boink there we go excellent um, and then we've got, let's have a look here. So this is the highway that's coming through here. That's got a few junctions on. Yeah, so we want to take this here. <laughs> well, man, how the heck are we going to upgrade this junction? Because all the roads are entirely the wrong sort of road. Um, okay, I think if I can just get the main roads that are going through upgraded, the rest of it should be okay and then we can do our lane mathematics and all of that i mean it probably would just be easier just to completely do this all from scratch but we're gonna do it this way Okay, after much faffing around with the Move It mod, I've got the two roads going through at the height we want. Of course, the whole thing is like a slope all over the place. So, yeah, that made it more difficult. I should have leveled out the terrain before I started. Um, and then what we should be able to do, if I like add... I mean, there's a node right there. If I move that back and line it up like this, I can then do the Union Nodes trick like we've seen before. And let's just start that one again. That one to there. That's it. Excellent. So that can sort of line up all of these different spots that we've got. So I'll just do that. 
There we go. I think this is the last one. Any places where there's not a node, just add a node in. And there we go. Excellent. That is looking good. And then we just need to change these roads for the, the British version. Well, we will get to that. Um, and then this over here. And of course, we've got our lay mathematics and all that sort of thing. Well, we'll get to that as well. So we're just going to put that through there. And then we're going to arrange at whatever it's called through to there. Which is almost exactly the same, but with a bit of a curve. Maybe we can just sort of work on that a little bit more. Very good, very good. And because I can't just leave it without the correct lane mathematics, we'll get our larger road. So that is going to go here. Yeah, then we get the correct joining up. What the heck is going on? Yeah, you know what solves it is using the actual correct British style road thing there. So that's good. We've done that and I've raised these up as well. So yeah, we get the extra lane coming off for those going up there. The extra lane coming down there. And of course, on each of these junctions, we need to do a bit of Hugo there because they get all a bit hawky balky about it. And yeah, that's good. So I'm going to quickly do each four corners of these. And then we need to continue our ring road around here and see what we can do with the next motorway. So I think that's it. It's all been Hugo there, Britishified. It is just working absolutely perfectly. Well, it will be once we get these lines worked out correctly on each side. And then go, that one's fine. This one over here should be perfectly fine. Yeah, this one has been done. Excellent. And this one as well should be perfectly fine. Very good, very good. So now we've got the choice of sticking with our sort of highway road through here because we've changed... Oh, this was a six lane road anyway wasn't it so i don't mind changing to the highway road and then if we follow this over here as you can see we're getting quite into another hillside over here um so i just noticed a couple of little wrinkles in the land i will come back and sort those out but we need to come right up around the outside and i'm thinking how far do we go with this because we've got this highway to cross. And then at some point, it's going to have to come back round and join over here. This junction will have to change. So, jumpy game. We're all over the place. Maybe we'll just sort of follow it alongside the hill here. Come through there. Come through this mountain. And then head on over that way. I think that will be the best way to do it. Ah, oh, fantastic. That will sort itself out. And then we can just connect these up like so. And what the heck is going on there? Can I? <laughs> I tell you what, I'm going to leave those there and we'll see if they disappear. No, they won't. <laughs> then we'll do a range at line through there, which is pretty much what it was anyway. And then we'll do a range at line through there. A little bit of a change. That tool is absolutely fantastic. Um, can I use the move it mod just to get rid of these? Yep, there we go. Excellent. No more trees. What is this thing over here that keeps appearing and disappearing? Depending on what angle you look at it. What? Oh, it's the pillars for the whole lot, isn't it? What the flipping heck is going on here? Okay, so then we want to connect these two up. So I'm going to grab that road there. We're going to go straight from... Let's go straight. 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 From there to there. And then the good old... I love this. I love this tool. It's fantastic. I've been using it a little bit. Uh, City Planner Plays uh, introduced me to it a long time ago. I'd never sort of used it. And ever since then, I've just... I love it. Look at that. Oh, skirting the hillside. That is much, much better. Cuts through, so we need to do a bit of terrain work. We've obviously got a train bridge and a ravine that we're going to have to do a bit of work on. We shall come back to that. So I've just lowered this down a little bit here. Let's just see if we can do something about this. We're going to go through there, go through there, all the way over to there. Let's see if that makes a little bit of a difference. Yeah, so we're going to get a raised section over there. That's fine. I'll worry about all the heights and things later. A lot of things I'm going to be doing later, but, you know, that's the way it goes sometimes. Uh, then we're going to grab this here. We'll just upgrade it to a bridge section like that. Excellent, that's fine. And any detail work, like we said, we'll come back to that. Right, so that there is now going to go through here. We're going to stick with the highway road. 
pick the shortest point that we've got, which I think with what we've got available is this. I mean, we could sort of skirt through here, but I just want to go with a bridge because why the heck not? So we're going to go in there. We're going to bridgeify that. Well, that is just like way too high. And then we'll tunnelify. That's what I'm trying to say. Not bridgeify, obviously. Don't know what I'm talking about. Uh, we want to come out sort of here. There we go. That's better. We can do a little bit of detailing there. And then we're just going to connect these up. I'm going to take that away like that. And this is going to get straightened up. If it lets me select that. Let's try it this way then. Excellent. There we go. Let's grab that road. And we're just going to go from there to there. And guess what tool we're going to use next? Yes, that's right. The arrange at line tool. All the way up to there. Fantastic. Right. So now we come out the other side here. And we're well outside of all the little villages that we've got. So even if this came straight through what was going to be a great big village area. That's fine. That's what happens. That's what happens with places like this. You start off with lots of little villages. I mean, we're sort of building... Whenever we build in city skylines, we build back to front, don't we? We always start in the middle of our city and build out. But generally, with things like this, you'll have little villages spotted around that might meet on a crossroads, then expands and grows. Then you get a hyperspace bypass comes through. So, you know, that's how it goes. Um, So, <laughs> let's have a look at this junction here, which is now going to be changed for something else and we've got a lot of roads coming on this bit here and i'm just wondering whether if we just change maybe this top section here we could have that just come straight across loop around and connect up to there yes yeah, so i've started to build this bridge across here and i'm thinking this is just getting out of hand that's a lot that's a lot of bridge to build when actually that is not the road that we want to go across here so what i'm going to do is i'm going to remove all of this the highway is kept in use um, as we're doing it. I'm going to remove all of these and leave those roads in. This is the road that I want going over the top here. Um, so if we can get that to a reasonable height, you're going to go down to that sort of level. Then we can have... Let's have a look. That could go across here. The height's probably still not quite right, but we'll get that sorted. No worries. That could go like that. Then that can come across here somewhere. In fact, that might even be... Let's have a look. Where are we going? Are we staying on this side? I think if we can. Otherwise, it's one bridge and two bridge. Well, as if we can... <laughs> one bridge, two bridge, red bridge, blue bridge. That's just what came to my mind then. Whereas, what seems to make more sense to me is it ends up coming along here... Excellent. So that is <laughs> the sort of thing we're looking at. Ignore all of the heights. We'll get all the heights sorted. No worries. So then we've got to just sort of connect these together. And this is what I was actually trying to do before. Was go from there to there like that. So that gets those connected. This road then just continues all the way around. Jumpy game. So now I'm thinking... With these connections here, they can actually go a little bit different. Let me just sort the <laughs> sort the heights out here first. Don't worry about the heights. I'll sort it all out. Don't worry about these weird artifacts. They will go away. Excellent. So I just want to get this junction connected up. So... Yeah, so connecting that up to there works okay. This one works okay. Um, we could sort of smooth this out a little bit. Yeah, that'll do for now. That'll do for now. And then we've got these two that can just connect on here as well. I might be able to just union these in. Yeah, we've got a node right there. Is that connected to something else? Where does that one go? Oh, that was the one that went across the, the thing, wasn't it? No, that's fine. I was thinking I'm missing, missing a trick here. We're not. Yeah, that's looking better. 
So we can still continue on all the way through. If we need to add extra lanes on for those that are coming on and off, we can do. Although I'm thinking it's going to be okay. Uh, this doesn't need to be right up in the air now, does it? Because of what we've done. So if we sort of go like that. And then we'll take these nodes through here. And we'll just level that all down. There we go. That's fine. So I'm thinking... See, this road actually goes nowhere. So I'm just going to remove that. We don't need to attach that this one here coming in i'm just thinking we've got this one here could we bring that down to connect to that and then that connects up there and then we don't need this road around here although i really like the way this looked on the side of the mountain that sort of extra extra little road going along there do you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to do this. I'm going to connect it in anyway. Um, I'm going to put the roads here that have got the extra lanes on so we can have dedicated lanes in and out and all of that sort of stuff. And I don't think that's too bad. It's just like a busy junction, isn't it? As things are coming and going. And then what I might do as well is... Um, this is a six lane. If that went to... We're just going to leave that. Yeah, we're going to do dedicated, la we're dedicated turning lanes. So we've got that one there... We've got that one there, and then we've got that one there joins in. And then if there's any need, we can we can monkey with that. Right. So that is all connected. That's all connected. <laughs> yeah, this needs a little bit of work, doesn't it? And this is all connected. So let me just see what we can do here. I'm thinking that what we're going to do is is grab all of this. I don't know whether this is going to work or not. We're going to grab all of these like this. And if I do set to terrain height, yeah, oh yeah, look at that, looking much, much better. These could be dropped down a bit. Actually, this section through here works really well as a bridge, so we're going to do that. And of course, I've completely forgot that this is all supposed to be highway, so let me just change all of that. Then, of course, we come to over here, and I am thinking some sort of bridge along here would be good. Does this give you a nice sort of bridge piece? It does, but not quite correctly. Um, okay, let me just get the rest of this done. So that goes up to there, and then where are we going to change it? So we've got this other sort of road over here. I think it changes down to this road here. And then that's fine. Then it's back to the highway road when we get over there. Yeah, that would be good. Um, what I'm going to do is, is I'm going to delete all of this above ground, please. Thank you kindly. Like that. Then I'm going to do bridge. What is this? Let's grab that one there. Set it as bridge. Then go into here. Connect from there to there. Will that give us a proper bridge? It gives us that back to front bridge again. Darn it. Why is it doing that? Is it because literally I've just got to draw it in by hand, otherwise it doesn't like it? Let's try that then. Oh, okay. That's better. So we've got the pillars, we've got the bridges. Yep, and then we can do a bit of smoothing out. And then I think this is going to look fantastic. A bit more of a lovely curve on there. This is all okay coming out of here. This is going to have some sort of wall put on there. It's all going to get built up. Oh! Let's have a look. Let us have a look at our ring road. So where does it go? This is the little bit we added before. We've now got all the way up here. Connections with that. Connections with that. Through the mountain. Another little tunnel here. Although, to be honest, that could all end up being a tunnel. All the way round. It looks fantastic.
So if you enjoyed my very British ring road build, please leave a like and subscribe to my channel for more City Skylines goodness. And then check out the next video on the screen. Have a fantastic day. I'll see you all for the next one. Bye-bye.